Hello and welcome back for more Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. So the last time around we ventured through this whole city, well we searched the whole city, and well we found an interesting group of people. Some of them were like, Link please save us and the princess. The other ones were like, oh my god there's a thief Link who stole the princess, he's evil. Call the castle, call the guards, call somebody, who cares, I don't know. Either way, we gotta go off and meet Sasharala or whatever his name is, over here by the first palace that we're gonna go to. Hooray! And this will be right by the main palace, as a matter of fact, I believe... I believe I may have already passed over it. Whoops. Actually, you know what? It's all good. We still got the right way to go. We could have went around the other way. We just bypassed that guard. He don't give a shit either. He's just like, meh, whatever. It's sunny. I don't care. Oh, look. It's a graveyard. Oh, look. It's another goofy guard. Get away. Go into the graveyard, you goofy guard. Okay, so now, yeah. We'll have to go down and take this little bridge. Well, we normally would have taken this bridge. Get out of here, you dick. And we'll make it over to this little grass... Well, I was gonna say grassy knoll. What am I saying grassy knoll for? It's almost a mountainous region where our friend and wise man, or relative of wise men, are gonna be hiding. Oh, and these guys are dicks. I, ha I hate these guys. Come here, you. That's how we do that. It's for you. Stupid arrows. Here. Tell you like that. Tell you like, like that crap, huh? Give me some of that, huh? Give it. Yeah, you suck. You little prick. Oh man, I forgot how annoying those guys were. It's been a while. So yeah, I'm still going through my adjustment phase because <laughs> it's a little bit of getting used to after playing the Super Nintendo version by previously playing the Nintendo version. Blah. And yeah. So we'll get in there. We'll get better. Hopefully one of these little buggers gives me some life. It would be embarrassing if we died here, wouldn't it? Alright, so somewhere, I believe this is the area right up here. We should be coming, yes. Come here. So come here. Alright, whatever, don't get me health, you dick. And of course we have all these little Octoroks running around here. Yeah, this is another incarnation of the Octorok we've seen in previous versions of Zelda. So this time they look a little bit different, but kind of nicer. Not as funky looking as it did in Zelda 2 The Adventure of Link, but still. Here is our friend, the old man. And he is in this little strange building. Help me, old man. I am, indeed, Shashrala, the village elder and the descendant of seven wise men. Oh, really? Graz, I am surprised a young man like yourself is searching for the Sword of Evil's Bane. Not just anyone can use that weapon. Legends say only the hero who has won the three pendants can wield the sword. Do you really want to find it? Uh, duh, yeah, of course. Well, what's the difference? It says, yeah, and of course. Of course! Good. As a test, you can retrieve the Pendant of Courage from the East Palace. Oh, of course I can. If you bring it here, I will tell you more of the legend and give you a magical artifact. Now, go forward to the palace, young man. Well, we'll do that, and we'll take all of his health pots. And while we're here, we'll blow up his wall. Why? Because we can. Quiet, old man. I'm here to blow up your wall. Yeah. So he has a few things back here we could use, like this. More bombs, hooray! And... Rubies, I'll take those. All the rubies, I'll take them all! Yeah! Thank you, old man, Shashrala. I will be off to get the pendant now. Now, of course, I don't want to ruin too much of the game, because I know some of you know what's going on here. Some of you may not have played this. We do come back to this area in a different realm, and I'll leave it at that at some point. So, very interesting. A little preview of things to come eventually. Now, of course, it's a little tiny pathway around here, which we can get to the temple. Oh, God. Stone creatures. Stone creatures. Ow, you dick. So, of course, we will have to get all three pendants in order to get the Master Sword. That's three little dungeons we'll have to go through get away from that thing. And they're not too difficult, really. The difficulty really doesn't pick up till after we get the sword. Go figure, right? Die. I said die. So the magical sword, well, the master sword is basically the master sword, ultimately. Just under a different name and all that good stuff. You get it. Come on, dude. Seriously. Dick. Alright, run past these guys. Hurry. Yes. Palace number one. The East Palace it is. So here is our first little puzzle of the game. And that's what these dungeons are really are, right? They're puzzles. 
We're here to go in, try to figure out what's what, get a nice magical weapon, and go from there. Of course, as of every Zelda game, each dungeon will have a magical item and a magical pain in the butt boss. And every time I used to see this, this little area right here used to remind me of Marble Madness. Granted, it's not, but you get it. I mean, look at it. it looks like marbles down here. Whoa, crap. Well, that sucked. Get away. There we go. Just a little test of the gamer right there. Nothing too difficult, right? Trying to make sure you're on the top of your game. Okay, so there's our first magical treasure and the big one over there. We have to get the large key once again. Okay, good. So, from what I remember, that should be the bow. Which we will definitely put a lot of use to. Come on, you dick. Freaking skeletons here just gotta jump around and be dicks. Come on. Jeez. Now, fortunately, these guys, all they do is jump, so they're not, like, real difficult. You just gotta be able to get a hold of them and tear them apart. Like that. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and put the boomerang on, because we're going to probably use the boomerang most of all. Not so much on the actual torches. Oh, I know this part. There we go. Kill that sucker. Kill that one. That's right. You better jump, you dick. At least they don't jump when you throw the pots at them. It makes it so much easier. So we'll grab those arrows, and if I can remember the proper way, we should be collecting some keys, and we should be collecting some other stuff. There's one of them. The compass. The compass will point us to the way of what? I have no idea. And we've got a little teleporter tile here. We can talk to Shasrala, the elder. Graz, it is I, Shasrala. I can talk to you telepathically when, I t when you touch these tiles. Here is a hint. You can use the treasure hidden in this palace to defeat armored foes. No kidding. So he's right. It's the bow, which we definitely have to get. It comes in handy all throughout the game. And like these dudes up here, it will help kill them. There we go. Yeah, these things, oh, they are not pleasant. Not difficult, but they are not pleasant. Come here, you dick. Let's go ahead and shoot him right in the eye. Got all the arrows I have nothing to shoot with, right? No device to which hit with. Come on, dude. Oh, my God. What dicks are this? Whoever thought of these things? Most annoying things ever. Thank you. Of course, there's our door to our boss, or toward the direction of the boss, to say the least. Cannot go there yet. Oh, leave you alone. Balls, okay. So let's head back. Clearly not the right way to go. We have to go up and around. We should be finding a key somewhere around here as to which we can get access to. That's it. Yeah, come on. Can't push that. I believe we actually have to come this way. Okay. Well, that's some serious suckage. Which means we did not go the proper way. Okay. Oh, these palaces are going to take me a little bit of time to get back in used to. I have to get back into form. And, oh, what a dick. Appeared right on top of my head. Dude, stop jumping. I said, stop jumping, you dick. Finally. Alright, now that we cleared all that nonsense, we do have to get a key for that. We'll come, actually we'll come out that door at some point. I totally remember that now. The question is, getting to that point. Now, what about over here? Yes? Let's throw that over to the side. There should be a way around, and I believe... Here we go. Come here, all of you stupid monsters. Pain in the butt. Yeah, there we go. We have to go down here and do a little bit of searching, right? I believe we can do this. Or what was it? We can actually go somewhere around here. I believe it was. Oh my goodness, this is terrible. Well, you can see this clearly isn't going to be a walkthrough video. <laughs> Alright, we're going up this way. And I believe we have another... Where's that touch plate at? There we go. Now, we can actually get rid of these little magical skull things. They're just like the ones from Zelda 2 The Adventure of Link. If we had the powder, it's something we'll get later in the game. Okay, there's our map, which means we can actually see... This dungeon now, right? Yeah, okay, our boss is on the second floor. We are on the first floor, and we are not doing too much, right? We do have to get access to a couple of rooms. Jump down, we'll do this all over again. Now, if we can just get past these guys... Oh, I want the arrows so bad now to use them. These guys are dicks, to say the least. Get out of here, you dick. Now, I believe when we defeat this palace, Shashrala will give us the boots, which will allow us 
to go ahead and run faster. Thankfully, I love them boots. I miss them. Gotta go through all this nonsense again. Hooray! Hooray! Don't you like it when you have to go through a, a place and just go back all through because you said, oh, there we go. It's the wrong way. Yeah, this game kind of does that to you. At least it did to me a lot when I was younger. At least now I've got somewhat of a feel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is going to be our adjustment phase all over again. Anyway. Go back to the main room. We'll take off to the right. We should be able to go up to that pathway, and I believe that's going to take us to a room. That should help us on our quest. Alright, screw you guys. We're done. We're done here. Yeah, that's how we do it. And I believe... Yeah. Oh god, not this nonsense. Get that plate. Get that. Nice ruby. You need all the rubies we can get. Okay, we don't have a key for that. So we should have a key over in this room to get to the other room. Or something of that nature. Look, you know where it's going. Come here, you dick. I think one of these guys actually drops the key. Ah, what a dick. Get out of here. There we go. There we go. Okay. Nice. So let's about face and go open that door. Oh god, here they come. Leave me alone. Leave me the bloody balls alone. Yeah. There's more marble madness. Marble madness and it's best. Gotta totally bypass all that junk. And look at what we got here. Okay. Oh god, those things are gonna scatter once we... Yeah, they're gonna scatter like crazy. Just, you'll see. Come here, come here bones. I said... Come here, Bones. What a bunch of jumping dicks. Okay, oh god, no. Yeah, I like the way that goes. Got you dead, and... Oh, I didn't want to kill that. I'm going to kill this dick. There we go. And I believe... I believe I can fly. Oh god, yep, that did it. Once you killed them all, they're free. And this should give us a little pre uh, pressure plate for that. And this. Yeah, the big key. Oh, the big keys. Oh, God, get away from it. Get away from it. It still takes that uh, magic. <laughs> it takes magic, and I believe a little bit of damage, just like the ones in Zelda 2 did. So all they did is really just give them a reskin and a little bit of a hue. Very cool indeed. And I still believe they're called Bubbles, too. Very weird name for a mob with flaming spiky balls, whatever. Damn it, skeleton. Kill your face. And what about this skeleton? I'll kill your face too. Come here, you dick. I'm getting tired of you. Hopefully this is the last time we come in this room. Cause we're gonna go get the bow and then the boss and say F this business. Come on. Get out. Stop. God damn it. I hate you. You're all a pain in my ass. To say the least. Watch this. Watch this. That's how you do that. That's how you do that. Junk. Yeah. Hey, you like that crap, huh? Damn, monsters. Oh, crap. Son of a... Totally went the wrong way. Look, I'm not going back in another room. I'm not going back in another room. I don't want to go back into the other room. I hate you all. Not you, the viewer. I hate these skeletons. Damn it. I love my viewers. I hate the skeletons. Get out of here, you dicks. Jeez. There we go. Right, now this is the last damn time I'm ever coming in this room. Ever. Ever. Five minutes later. Son of a bitch! Alright, screw you. Alright, Shashrala, I got your damn key. I'm getting your damn bow. So shut your face. Get out of here, skeleton. Damn it! Give me that heart, you dick. There we go, you found the bow. You can shoot at arrows until you run out. Hooray! Oh, God. No. Get it. Get the bow and be prepared, because those dicks are going to fall out. I said, those dicks are going to... Oh, no! Flying skulls! No! My only weakness. Where you at, dicks? Seriously? They kind of like flew off without no knowledge or anything. No, no goodbye. Come here, you. So come here. <laughs> One shot. One shot that sucker. Alright, I believe we could actually go down here for rubies, if I remember properly. 
There should be like... Oh! Fair... Oh, wait a minute, no! Oh, we are gonna need all of this, because watch this. We're gonna do that, and bottle that sucker, yes! And we're gonna do this, come here, you. I said, come here, damn it, what? Well, I, I didn't need to do that. Not gonna lie, we did need to do that. Uh, probably scrap one more, right? And refill, that's what I love about this game. The fairies actually refill. Keep it. Go back. Now... Let's go ahead and get ready for our boss fiend. Which... The first boss is really easy. Nothing really to worry about, just a little bit of maneuvering. And that's about it. Of course you got all these jerks. Oh, 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 no. I will have none of your jazz bot. I will have none of your jazz. Let's go ahead and use that this, cause... Let there be light. Let there be more light. And then... Let there be arrows. Arrows to your face. Oh god. Damn fast things. Come here. There you go, air to your face. Oh god, no. Don't go out. Don't go out. I said, don't go out. Damn it. Here, hurry and light them all. Hurry and light all of the things. Do we need them? No, but we're lighting them anyway. Give me, I said, give me the pot. Thank you. Kill you. Whatever, we're getting moving. Get a moving. Oh, coins, I see that. Oh, you know what? Screw it. No better time to be desperate than when the lights are out. Do all the pillaging and looting. Grab them all. Yeah, look at that. Look at all that. Bubbles don't know what's going on. Completely missed. That's them skills. Very skills. Alright, screw all that. I said, open that. There we go. Now we're going to the second floor. Now we're fighting that boss here soon. And uh, get my arrows out, because I love me arrows. Love me some arrows. Oh, you dick. I hate you. Leave me alone, Bubbles. No, you dick. And that's why there's hearts and arrows. Get the hell away from me. You little bastards. Oh. Come here, you. Nice. Now, of course, they got false tiles down here, because why not? It's a Zelda game. They gotta make it somewhat interesting, right? Gotta have false tiles. Do that. Uh, yeah, he's, like, coming up a few more rooms. Do that. And do that. Marble Madness. Oh, crap, I forgot about this. This room and false tiles. Yeah, you are not gonna get me. Well, maybe they will get me. I don't know. There's our tile. Get moving, Link. Oh, this is it. This is our boss room. You see it by the little logo in the front of the door. You dickhead! He went out and hit me. Oh, God, I got the red one coming after me. No, I will not have your crap. You, get out of here. Now, I just need to kill you. Yes, I need to kill you. You're dead. Two hits! Two hits! Thank you. Alright, it's very nice that I'm actually go ahead and refill me arrows. Now, for the boss! Or, wait a minute, damn it! I totally forgot, there's this little area right here. And... Be gone with yourselves, fools! I said, be gone with yourself, fools! Holy crap, they are not gonna give up. And, wake up! I said, wake up! Oh god, come on! Are you serious? Are you freaking kidding me? Come on! Oh god! <laughs> right in the eye with him, he didn't even kill him. Damn it. Out of here. Alright. Moving on. And I believe we need the arrows to kill these guys up here anyway. Actually, we could probably kill them with the sword. It really depends on how you want to do it. Oh, yeah. A whole bunch of just doing this. Boss is really easy. It's nothing really hard. Gotta love that boss music, though. It's really cool. I always did like it. Listen to them bosses when they take damage. Especially when they die. Oh yeah, I love that. Wah 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 wah. Wah boop 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 boop. Yeah. Now of course once we kill the last, well, once we have one left, he is gonna go ahead and go batshit crazy. So we have to keep an eye out on that. He'll start moving really fast. So, okay, we got one more hit on one of them. There we go. There he goes. Got one more hit on him, right? He is not happy. 
Come on, dude. There we go. All said and done. East Palace is in the books. Give me that pendant. Yeah. Give me that magical stuff. That wonderful, wonderful magic stuffs. So like I said, this has been the East Palace. Not really that difficult. Took me a while. You won the pendant of courage. Take it to Shashrala. And he will reward you handsomely. Two pendants remain for the Master Sword. And Link shows off. What a show off. And this is pretty cool that he teleports you right outside the dungeon. It doesn't turn to stone like Zelda 2 did, but you know. Ah, you dick. Come on. I got a little piece of heart, and I got the freaking pendant, and damn mobs are gonna be dicks. Alright, so we'll return us to Shashrala, and then we will get a nice little item from Shashrala, the old man. Old man Sarsaparilla. Oh, you got the pendant of courage? Now I will tell you more of the legend. Oh no, here we go.